Hey my loves, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I got a word for y'all. I was just driving and a car was coming right towards me. In my lane, but heading in the wrong direction. And I just thank God. I thank God so much because that could have went so much worse than me having to blow the horn and swerve. That could have been a head-on collision. And it just got me to thinking about staying in your own lane and, you know, doing you. I, I get it now. I understand the principle behind stay in your own lane. It's dangerous to be in, it's dangerous to be in someone else's lane. Because first of all, you don't know what it took to get there. And you don't know what it takes to sustain that position. You have to be okay with being who you are. You have to be okay with being the person that God has created you to be. Because see, God makes no mistakes. You are beautiful. You are amazing. You are worthy of the life that you desire for yourself. But you have to believe it. It's one thing to watch YouTube videos and self-help books to, to figure out what can I do better about myself. But you're not going to get there until you take action on your life. You have to do it for you. You have to put what other people think aside and, oh, they're going to judge me. Don't care about none of that and fo focus on you and who you have been called to be. You have great and unique talents within yourself. But until you fully seek out God and love yourself for who you are and accept you for who you are, you will not uncover the unique gifts within you. Your lane was designed just for you to prosper and to succeed. And no, it's not always going to be lollipop and rainbows. You're going to have hard times. You're going to have times when you want to give up. You're going to have times when you fear and when you doubt yourself. You're going to have times where you're doing so good and then you self-sabotage. But you got to get to a point in your life where you say enough is enough and I am going to get up and I am going to fight for the things that I believe in. I am going to fight for myself. I am going to fight for my vision. I am going to fight for the life that I know I deserve. Because you have greatness inside of you. But you have to believe it and you have to see it for yourself. I can see the greatness in you. A lot of people can see the greatness in you, but see, the thing about not seeing greatness in yourself, and my mama taught me this lesson a long time ago before she passed on. God rest my mama's soul. I miss her so much. But something my mama taught me a long time ago, she said that you don't know who you are, and a person can see that you're a diamond, but all you see yourself as is glass. And they see right through you. They could see the value in you. They could see that you're a diamond. But they're not going to tell you your value. Because they're going to stick around. They're going to reap the benefits of you. Not knowing who you are. Stand up for yourself. Appreciate yourself. Celebrate yourself. Set many goals. And long term goals. But set many goals for now. And work towards those goals. And then start working towards your long term goals. You can accomplish anything you put your mind to. Nothing in this world that you can't accomplish. There's nothing in this world that you cannot be. You could do anything you put your mind to. God has equipped us with every gift and talent that we need to succeed in who we are and what we're here to be. What our purpose is here. Stop sleeping on yourself. Get up and move. Let me tell you something. It's somebody right now who's waiting for your story. Who's waiting for your gift. Who's waiting for your talent. That's going to awaken their gift and their talent. That's sleep inside of them. But they're waiting for you to pull it out of them. And God used us in mysterious ways. That special talent that you have. That unique talent that you have. You may overlook it or think nothing of it. But it's something. It's something. Get up and use it. Put action Put action under your gifts. Use them. And God will add on to you. 
You have to use what you have now. You have to appreciate what you have. A lot of people think, oh, if I have more money, I'll be happy. No. If you can't sustain now what you have, if you can't maintain now what you have, how are you going to handle more? Gratitude. Gratitude is the word of the day. Gratitude. You have to be grateful. You have to have a heart of gratitude for everything that you have. I don't care if you're living in the projects. I don't care if you're living in a 50-store penthouse. You have to be grateful for what you have to move to the next level. Appreciate your little jalopy. Appreciate what you have now. So when the bigger things do come, not only do you appreciate them, you know how to handle them and take care of them and maintain them. And it's not that God don't want to bless us in this season now. He wants you to know how to appreciate what you have so that he can add on to you. He has not forgotten about you. He has not left you out. Work on you and the things that you know that are inside of you. A lot of times we know what our gifts and talents are, but we don't believe in ourselves or we doubt ourselves or we be doing so good and we self-sabotage. We all do it. But you got to get to that breaking point where you change your mindset. See, it's a mindset thing. You have to change your mindset. You got to change how you view things. You have to be aware. You have to be mindful and you have to be prayed up. Because, honey, let me tell you, when God go to blessing you, those people that you think your best friend and your sister, your brother, they all going to be looking at you with a side eye because they really not wishing for you to do well. That's why you got to cut off your, your energy from certain people in order to elevate in life. Choose you. Put yourself first. Nothing above God, of course. But you have to learn to start choosing you over other people. Don't just speak life in your friend's ideas. Speak life over your life. Speak life over your children's life. Speak life over everything you believe in. Because you can accomplish anything in this world that you put your mind to. Believe in your gifts. Believe in, believe in your talents. And ask God for guidance as you take the steps. If it start off writing it down. Write your vision down. Step one, write it down. Pray over that vision. Pray over it. Ask God for guidance. And every day get up and do something. That's contributing to that vision that you have for your life. Somebody is waiting for you to to answer the call and to be obedient to the gifts that God has bestowed upon you. God will add on to you. Use what you have now. Appreciate what you have now. And God will add on to you. Y'all be blessed.